Good morning, friends. Reverend Bob here this morning, coming to you from Firebase Billy Bob in Swanee, Georgia. And we call it Firebase because the fire of heaven's coming down here around us and destroying our enemies. Prayer is the strongest weapon that you can have. This morning, I'm all up thinking this morning before daylight, people are starting to ask me. I don't know why they ask me, you know, I guess. But the, uh, the people that I know, some of them are very learned people, you know, more credentials, more, more degrees than a thermometer. And they're asking me, so can Trump win? Can Trump win? Can this, can this happen? Can that happen? What about the election? Who should run in 2024? You know, it doesn't make one bit of difference who runs in 2024. Let me tell you why. It's not America, okay? Wake up and smell the coffee, folks. Uh, the, the last election. Does anybody believe it's legitimate? Come on now. Even the people that are claiming it's legitimate don't believe it. And the, the definition that, that I like best of insanity is when you do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Let, let's go back into 2024. Let's spend billions and billions of dollars campaigning and run ourselves crazy looking at first one uh, crazy commercial on another, and then we're all going to go to the polls and vote. And you know, tens of millions of people who've been dead for years are going to vote uh, by mail-in and you know, it, it, it's all happening again. It all happened 100% happen again. And all it is is a legitimacy project to keep you distracted. You know, it's the magician over here. Watch this hand while the other hand does what the trick is. And it's not even being hidden. I mean, it's just, it's right out in the wide open spaces here. Let me tell you something about the, the, the extreme left, okay? I'm not talking about your mother-in-law that votes uh, democratic because she's done it all her life. I'm talking about the extreme left, the people out there carrying flags and placards. And when they look there, they're just, you know, uh, it, it, whatever the issue is at the moment, it's just about to break a blood vessel. Those people are satanic. You are not fighting flesh and blood people. You're fighting the forces of supernatural evil. If you can look at Washington, D.C., or any other major capital in the, in the world and say that what they're doing makes any logical sense at all, now, th then stick with that. Let's look at climate change, okay? Absolutely bull. No possible way that the, the little specks on this planet that are you and me are able to overcome the planet's abilities. And yet, oh, we, we need to do this. We need to be driving electric cars. A totally impossible thing. And then we need to be, uh, 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 we can't have cows because they, cows have flatulence and, and, it, and it hurts the ozone. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, anywhere in India or China or the, or the developing world, Africa, they're building coal-fired power plants with zero emissions controls, just as hard as they can go. So does it really make any difference in this global thing that the greenhouse gases are being produced in China or in Alabama? Does it make any difference? No. They are completely irrelevant. All right. I think we should keep the planet as clean as we can, but let's not be nuts about this. People have to live. You have to grow food. Okay. You got over 7 billion people today that would really like to have something to eat. They're going to need something clean to drink and they're going to go to the bathroom sooner or later that day. And we've got all those issues to deal with. All right. You can't do that without electricity. You can't do that without diesel fuel, gasoline too, for that matter, oil, coal, nuclear, all these things. I don't have a thing against uh, solar panels, 
windmills are just, they're just as crazy now as they were when Don Quixote was jousting them. They never work that, that reliably and they, and they're even worse now. So, I mean, it's just a, it's just a way of messing up the landscape uh, and, and getting you to look at things and say, well, somebody needs to do something. Somebody needs to do something. Yeah, but does it have to be that stupid? You know, we'll come back for another episode of Bob on Politics. Reverend Bob talking about politics. And yes, a preacher is talking about politics. You can ignore politics, but politics will not ignore you, believe me. Signing off for the day.